Hi, I'm Dr. Swati from Data Access, and today we have with us Dr. T. L. N. Praveen, who is the chairman of Audiovisual Committee, an excellent and a dynamic radiologist and a multifaceted. Hi, sir. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. So, as the chairman of Audiovisual Committee, what are your feelings on the 65th IRIA Annual Conference? Uh, first, let me tell you about the IRIA 65th Annual Congress. As such, it's an honor for all of us uh, from Andhra Pradesh to have uh, been able to organize this particular event. It's a very important event, particularly as far as the academics are concerned. Uh, it will be the uh, most important uh, event in the history of uh, radiology. Now, coming to the audiovisual uh, department of this IRA 65th Annual Congress, uh, as you all know, uh, the most important aspect of any conference for the delegate is to learn something. And this learning happens only through certain audiovisual presentations. So I think we have a very important role to play uh, as far as the audiovisual chairman is concerned. And definitely my feelings are that a uh, little nervous, but then I think over a period of time we will get over it because uh, we have been planning everything and uh, we have I think we have a very good professional team to back us up. So with this I think we should do well and uh, we should deliver our uh, goods in the sense uh, by giving good information to the delegates who are going to attend this uh, 65th How are things shipping up? Anything new? Uh, well, we have uh, now uh, uh, organized in such a way that the audio visual team is going to completely centralize the whole uh, uh, audio visual proceedings. So, any any faculty, whoever is going to deliver certain lectures, not only the lectures but also the workshops, are purely based in the central committee in the sense that everything is centralized. So, all the presentations are uh, pulled up in the central preview uh, 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 rooms. Where from where it is going to be transmitted to each and every room. That is one. So that there won't be much of a confusion. There won't be much of wasting of time, which is very, very precious in this sense. Not only that, uh, it is important for the, the faculty to deliver the lecture, but also have good interactive sessions. These interactive sessions can be possible only if you can save time. So, we would like to have as much of uh, interactive sessions as possible. And in doing so, this is what we try to do and hope it will work well. What 
is your message to the young radiologist and the participants in the conference? See, as uh, in any uh, annual congress, the most important thing for the young radiologists or uh, postgraduates or the residents is to learn as much as possible, exploit the revenues which they have in this situation, have a good networking, and at the same time, learn as much as possible, exploit the abilities of the faculty, so that uh, you will get benefited in the long run. Uh, Yes, fun is always there with the IRIAR, any annual congress, but I think uh, associated with it, the main uh, uh, purpose of this conference is to learn as much as possible and uh, exploit the abilities of the faculty. What is your advice or inputs to that access? Uh, it's a good, uh, good uh, innovation or a good start, and I think uh, it's going to help us, particularly because, as I was told, that uh, you have uh, everyday uh, cases being projected. You have newsletters. You have interactive sessions which are definitely going to be a great help to the delegates. More than the delegates, particularly for the uh, budding radiologists and particularly the residents. Uh, the main thrust of all the annual Congress meetings anywhere in the world is to educate the uh, the residents as much as possible 